We are live and direct. Welcome to Nano Nano. Nano, 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 Nano. Put my phone on silent. Silent. Put my phone on silent. Ah, le blanc, le franc, ba 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 ba. I was I was thinking about learning Spanish. I already know Spanish, isn't it? Hey, chiquitita. Chiquitita. Salsa. Or Bordeaux. French. It'd be nice to know French. Oh, I'd like to know French. Le it's the language of love, Thomas. The language of love. Ah, le bleu, le cordon. Ah, There's a bleu. weird dude who um is in that documentary. Watch. He he was like a bit of a nutcase. What documentary? Grizzly Man. And for a while, he pretended to be Australian to people. Oh, really? Yeah. And he made this like massive um like backstory about how he was Australian. Da da. But everyone knew he wasn't. So they were like uh like this one guy he was dead so they're doing a documentary and everyone's like talking about his life and they were like yeah like we all knew he wasn't australian but like he wasn't hurting anyone so we like let him get away with it and i was like how weird is that like what the fuck so basically i told you about this no oh fuck man you gotta watch this so good so i was i came across a documentary it's called grizzly man it's like i think it's about 10 years old now and it was this dude who was like it goes into his life. So it starts out and he's like prop, this proper eccentric guy, man. Yeah. He's obviously not all with it. And he's like, what's up, guys? Like, I'm in the world. And his voice, he sounds like Michael Jackson. He's like, hey, guys, I'm in the world. Like, you think he's gay at first, but he, on camera, he talks about how like he can't meet women and how it's like blah, blah, blah. What's the point of this documentary? So he was an alcoholic, hated his life, da, 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 da. And he came across like the grizzly bear. So I think he watched the grizzly bear documentary anyway. He goes out to Alaska yeah. and he lives with the grizzly bears. You know, what do you, what do you know about a grizzly bear? Like, it would fuck you up, yeah? <laughs> what about a grizzly bear? Well, apart from you, because yeah. you're all, like, amazing. Okay. But, so, he, so, like, the, the people, like, he's like, I'm here to protect the bears. Like, duh, duh, and everyone's like, yeah, like, no one's really looking to fuck a bear up. Like, <laughs> but yeah. Crack on. <laughs> no one's trying so, to fight him, yeah. But this is the amazing thing. So, he films the whole thing. So, what whole thing? What so happens? He, so he does 13 years in a row, obviously, obviously not when they're hibernating. So he does four months at a time for 13 years in a row of living with these bears and he films the whole thing. So he gets footage of these bears that no one can ever get because no one's ever going to go and he live with so them. close to them. Yeah. So he has one of like these two bears fighting and it's like this amazing footage and one of the bears shits mid fight. It's so weird. Oh, sick. Yeah, really weird, man. That's, I wish that was acceptable in a, in a human fight. But he's a creep. So like one of the bears takes a shit, yeah? And he's like, goes up to me. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, oh my God, it's still warm. Oh my God, let me smell it. And he picks up the shit. And he's like, this was just inside her. And he has names for the bears. He's like, this is Coco. This is Chocolate. It's so fucking weird, man. I like this guy, man. Oh, he's sounds cool. in fucking sane. He's insane. He sounds opens like his, a nice guy. He opens his tent at one point, yeah. And there's just a grizzly bear like stood outside. And it comes up. and Oh, this is the best bit, yeah. So <laughs> they have a sheriff. And he's like a proper like Texan old school like uh, gray moustache. Tash, and he goes, yeah. he goes, up. He goes, I just think the bears thought he was a retard. Word for word, how he said it. <laughs> God, America's a joke. Oh, it's so fucked up. But then this is the the creepy thing. So, can you imagine if a policeman, an English policeman, said, oh, "I think someone thought he was a retard." That oh. man would be sick. Yeah, he's not even. He's like a sheriff, man. Yeah, like, it, uh, do you know what I mean? They're like, I know they're police, but they sort of like it's different over there, man. Yeah, because they just it's retarded out there. Some places, yeah. He thought he would retard. And then, so f so there's a rule, there's a law in America. You have to, you can't just camp out in the same place. So he's in Alaska. You can't just camp out in the same place. You have to move, every seven days, you have to move at least a mile from your spot. Right. And also, you're not supposed like to go. like the boats on the docks. You're not also not supposed to go within 100 feet of these bears. And he's like fucking going up to them, like chilling with them. Put like them fingers up their booty holes. No one, you oh, there's that one weird thing as well where he's like, uh. One of the bears was like trying to have sex with our bear, like blah, blah, blah. And he goes, I'm going to go over there and see what's going on. He's like, don't worry. I'm not going to try and have sex with her. I'm not that desperate yet. Although no girls like me. Eh. And like stops filming. I'm like, oh my are God. you going to try and fuck a grizzly bear? <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good <laughs> luck with that. <laughs> but the fucked up thing. So he does it for 10 years. And no, he becomes a celebrity. Like he was on like, um, is it David Letterman? David mm -hmm. Letterman. He was on that show. And he's like, oh, I just want to be left alone. Like, and he films these people 
a boat of people come up to this bear and they're like throwing rocks at the grizzly bear like trying to like fuck it up and he comes like running over and films it like so he loves bears he's like i'll die for these bears yeah, so he's become a bit like an activist well they fought towards the end he apparently thought he was a bear legit thought he was a bear so the guy's like look like he doesn't understand that these animals are eventually gonna fucking like kill him but he just didn't care and then the sad thing was when he eventually did obviously get killed by a bear oh he did yeah he brought uh, a girl with him so he was with another girl and she obviously got mauled as well oh she got killed as well yeah mate so there's uh, they both died both died so there's footage he had his camera Long. rolling but he didn't take the lens off so there's just audio of his last sort of like encounter oh for god's sake but what was interesting well, I was like oh I wonder why they like finally ate him but apparently what happened is um, he brought some other chick with him no so so the bears that he knew like literally he knows because think the bears just see him all the time then they yeah. go and hibernate for six months then they come out and he's there yeah, so for, yeah, yeah. and like all the, there was loads of like foxes there and they would come up to him and he'd like hug them they, so he kind of did become they got to know him yeah, yeah like they, he was like community. he was one of the lads man one of the fatting lads so apparently all the there was like a food shortage so all the bears like hibernated early or something something like that I can't remember exactly um and when they went into hibernation new bears came into the territory mm. um and his last footage that he had was of this bear that was coming up to it was underwater it was coming up to the surface and then just continuously diving down yeah and obviously when you watch it, you just don't really know what that means but the the guy who was like talking about what's it called the narrator the was expert, saying the bear that expert. bear is like starving so it, what it's doing it's diving down looking for salmon and mm. it's like it's stressing so it can't eat so as it was one of the new bears as well, it probably looked up and thought, who the fuck is this guy? Like, I'm going to eat this yeah, shit. Yeah, that looks like a lot of meat. Yep. Mm. Hell yeah, man. Bears are savage too. Like they, So another bear will eat the cubs of the mum because he doesn't want her to be producing milk because he wants to fuck her again. I think they're nuts. They're just these like dead baby cubs everywhere. That's tactical. Very tactical. <laughs> but yeah, watch this documentary, man. It was, it was, Sometimes it was a bear good. got a bust a nut. So obviously I had to have a cheeky look of the audio of him dying oh, on okay. uh, YouTube. I thought, I, I thought you were about to say, obviously I had to have a cheeky little bear wank. <laughs> <laughs> Dead cu- I'm not that desperate yet, mate. Uh, yeah, so you can hear the audio and he's like, he's getting mauled to fucking death by this bear. And he's saying to the girl, like, get out, like, run, run, just get lost, run, run, run. Yeah. And apparently she's trying to hit the bear with like one of the pans they had. Mm. And it's like obviously the, to the bear, it probably feels like like a little like yeah, he's scratch like around. Like, he's like, oh, oh, do you have a shoulder? And she, it's just not working. And then obviously she gets mauled as well. I had to turn it off after like a minute. It was like a five minute audio, but it was fucking savage, man. Well, you don't reckon you could kill a bear with a uh, with a frying pan? Frying pan? Nah, nah, nah. I'm mark a bear. With All a right, let pan. me ask you this then. So I went down a weird route of like, what do you do in a bear attack? What do you do? I know exactly what you do. All right, let me tell you first of all. So first no, of all, I know what to do. What do you do if I the bear? What, do. what do you do if the bear hasn't seen you? Um, I would slowly back away while taking off p- bits of clothing. Incorrect. Why? So that's what a lot of people think. First of all, that information came from a polar bear, and it's not true. So what they were saying is a lot of people heard that information, and it's completely wrong. So people would like take their backpack off put it down slowly with a grizzly bear he's like that's not going to work first of all he's like that backpack is the biggest protection you have from that bear's teeth and claws and your spine yeah so okay. never take i'm not taking off. my backpack off bro. i'm taking my bandana off yeah I'm my taking, watch <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm taking off my my uh my snood and my uh socks. so this is what he said there's three situations with a bear and it like ranks up of danger right. so he goes the first situation you have is you see a bear he hasn't seen you. Could this you be our survival s- episode? This is survival. Survival episode. Survive. This oh episode my was called God, survival. survival. Yeah. So you, the bear hasn't seen you. <laughs> you you slowly stop. You walk away from the bear. Very simple. Get off the track. You, that's his territory. You, d- you just don't alert the bear, yeah? Second is if the bear sees you. So a lot of people think if... if uh, you're Wait, s- what do you mean? How did I get away from this one? Because he hasn't seen you. So say you walk around the corner and there's a bear looking in another direction. Yeah. He's like minding his own business. Yeah. You don't walk past him. You don't walk around him. You just stop and you walk away whilst maintaining focus on him so yeah. you know what he's doing yeah. and you just get away f- far away as possible. Okay. He's probably... Nine times out of ten, they're like, the bear doesn't see you as a threat so he doesn't give a yeah. fuck about you. They'll attack you if they see you as a threat. Yeah. That's what it is, yeah. right? So number two, he's like, this is like scary ass situation, which happens all the time. Mm. You walk around the corner and there's a bear there and he looks at you. Mm. So that's the worst situation, okay. right? 
But, yeah, what you can't do in that situation, he's like, you can't, like, don't sort of, um, he's like, what a lot of people think they do is, like, oh, like, remain quiet. And he goes, if the bear, like, comes up towards you, and I've seen YouTube is this, he's like, you should make yourself big and actually, like, shout. So he's like, the bear, like, you want to be, like, loud and, like, show, like, authority that you're not, like, scared of him. Mm. So you've seen these part rangers do it, these three bears come and he just walks down, he goes, go away, bear, go away, bear, and he's screaming, and the bears just run away. And it's like, oh, shit, like, so he's like, so things like bear spray as well, apparently, if you have bear spray, like, you can spray it. I've got bear spray. Bear spray, bro. No, I've got bear, bear spray. Bear spray. I've got bear, bear spray. Bear spray. Uh, <laughs> and then third, he goes, if the bear... So, if that doesn't work, so you go, say you shout it. Like, What does lot- bear spray consist of? Fuck knows. But they hate it. But then it's like, again, like another guy but was it's saying... it's like melted fucking Big Mac. Fuck knows. Who, I have no idea. The fuck? All right, here go on. Sorry, Look on. up what's in bear spray while I uh, carry on the story. Yeah, while you keep telling us how to survive. So third, he goes, "What if the bear? If the bear's clearly not scared of you and he approaches you, he's like, what you should do is as fast as possible, get down in the fetal position and put your hands over your ears and the back of your neck. And he goes and and play limp as if you're dead. So the bear will still probably attack you, but if you play limp, that's your best chance of it not killing you. Right." So, like, there's been so many instances where people play dead and they get away, like, not unscathed. Like, obviously, the bear's going to fuck you up. But, like, cuts, bruises, scratches. Okay. And you're going to have a few bear scars. Okay. But that's what you got to do. Fetal position, hands. And that's when it came into the backpack. He said, the backpack is your protection between you and that bear's mm. claw. Because the thing is, like, the bear might just literally go like that and, and hit you. But to us, that's going to, like, claw our skin. Yeah. And then you're going to go, fuck, ah! And it's like, oh shit, and then it's gonna kill you. Yeah. So you gotta literally try and yeah. play limp, make as leap sound as possible. Like. It, what about but hey man, I like the whole can we come back to the whole take your clothes off slowly and back away? I heard that's with polar bears. And I heard that it was also No, bro, well, I ain't doing that in the Antarctic, bro. I need to keep my layers on. Well that's the that's what I'd say, that's the issue. As soon as you take all your clothes off, okay, now you freeze to death. So it doesn't work. No, I heard it about with grizzlies. I heard some guy was out fucking sh- I was about to say shopping. He was camping. Is that shopping? Down Tesco. Was out shopping for berries down in the <laughs> jungle. Yeah, he was he was out in the jungle, mate, just sort of doing shit. And next thing you know, bear come up to him, and he just slowly just. Oh, there's a dude as well. So how scary is this? So, uh, I think it was Cameron Haynes. He was so I, I went down the bear encounter path. So I'm like watching all these videos, people, blah blah. And he was saying, think how scary this is. He saw some cubs. Obviously, whenever there's cubs, there's going to be a mum. Yeah. So goes the bear charged him, you know, how to do like the dummy charge and you're supposed to it's not basically move. pepper spray, bear spray. Yeah, it'll just be something that they don't like to smell of. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he got charged. He said the bear stopped 20 meters in front of him. He goes, I get my gun out. Oh, first of all, let me back up just a little bit. So he was like, I was bound to have something bad happen. It's true. He goes, I had a weird feeling. So his friend was supposed to come with him. Mm. Couldn't get a license. He goes, I want someone to come with me because I know there's grizzly bears here. License then for what? Uh, a hunting license. Oh. So they're going out into the forest hunting oh. elk. Okay. All right, so they're dicks anyway. All right, cool. Well, you deserve anything that comes nah, you can way. hunt elk, man. Yeah, you can hunt fox as well. Doesn't mean you're not a cunt for doing it. Yeah, that's different. They don't hunt foxes humanely. That was the issue with fox hunting. Well, and they hunt elk humanely by shooting them in the face. No, these dudes do. They do one clean shot. <laughs> one clean shot. Bruv. This well guy's then, like the best bow hunter in the world. All right, then fucking President Kennedy was killed humanely. Why is the guy, why are we chasing the guy? Well, let's go into that in a minute. Let me finish <laughs> my story. <laughs> one bullet, don't make it humane. Um, so yeah, so he, so, and then someone was supposed to come and film it and then they couldn't get like a license to film in that, in that um, uh, like forest environment or something like that. Mm. So he's unpacking his bag and I think he said it was his girlfriend. He notices she's forgotten to pack his bear spray. He's like, oh, fuck's oh, sake. God like, sakes. You don't go world. into bear country without bear spray. No, he's like, okay, like, not the end of the world, blah, blah, blah. So he well, has it his, is the end of the world. <laughs> well, yeah. For you. Uh, so then he sees this bear and he's like, oh, shit. Bear charges him, stops 20 meters away, then goes back to a cub. He's like, okay. He's got his gun out. He starts filming at this point because... You can't, you're not allowed to kill sh- grizzly yeah, bears. Yeah, you got to make you'll, it. You'll go prison. Self-defense. You have to say, like, look, you have to basically prove this bear was going to fucking yeah, kill yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, Bear charges again and stops um, 10 meters away from him. Mm. But bear in mind, like, this isn't out in the open. This is like, there's like bushes. So he's like, where the fuck is the bear? Like, and then yeah. stops, sees it. Oh, shit. And then he said he thought that he'd pulled the trigger, but nothing happened. So he's like, this is weird. Like, thought he pulled the trigger. Bear goes away again. 
but then the bear disappears. So he's like surrounded by forest, blah, blah, blah. And he's looking around like, where the fuck is this bear with his gun? Luckily, the bear leaves, yeah? But right. listen to this. Realises he's put the wrong bullets in his gun and the gun the gun is jammed. Yeah. Right. So he could, he can't shoot. Yeah. So imagine... This man's just one-on-one. On one El Barrow decides to attack. He would have been fucked. Yeah, fair enough, isn't it, bro? Go into the fucking forest with a gun trying to kill fucking animals. The animals might kill you, isn't it? Big deal. I don't feel sorry whatsoever for that. Another cunt. insane dude who killed a thousand... I think he said a thousand pound... I can't remember what it was now, but he killed something. He had to uh, take it in installments back to where he was. Cause it was too heavy to like carry back. Goes back to his kill. So he's doing it 200 pounds a day, carrying it back. Goes back to his kill and there's a grizzly bear asleep on the animal he'd killed. Mm. And this dude chased the grizzly bear away. I was like, at this point, you're kind of like asking to die. What was the animal he killed? I can't remember now. But you know he's like giant ass fucking bird you know it's funny because I remember watching some of these shows on um, god knows what channel you know when they have those random things like, like 20 bravo. scary yeah, bear yeah. attacks or whatever. And I remember watching it and they're trying to make it bear dramatic and I'm just sitting there like bro what do you mean you're going in there to hunt bro I don't give a fuck just die I don't care well, not always like, there's places in America no, where yeah, a lot of them, literally yeah, no, a lot of them are just like, oh, fucking shit. camping and that. yeah. that's fair enough But like, when I went down that YouTube uh, weird spree there's a dude driving in his car and they see a grizzly bear, so obviously slow down. Mm. And this bear just starts chasing their car. No, so like you so turn sick. around and the bear is literally back. These things are so <laughs> fast as well, man. Like you wouldn't be able they to outrun power, it. power, bro. Oh my God, man. They got power. What's well, a thousand pounds, 11 feet tall and it runs like freaking Usain Bolt. Mm-hmm. Naughty. Mm-hmm. Naughty. That's good, a warrior right Good there. bear chat though, man. Right, but survival episode. So what else are we surviving? Ooh. J- purely animals no no anything survival episode isn't it? it's like bear grills we're teaching we're saving you guys now all right ants what about shark what? punch in the face easy one no shark is uh punch in the eyes, face right punch in the face punch in his nose <laughs> punch in the face <laughs> bro you brock its nose up and it cuts <laughs> i just have this image of you yeah, in the sea. nose conscious <laughs> i have this image of you in the sea and it's like great white sun you're just like spark in the mic get the fuck out the way <laughs> out man. the way bro no apparently yeah punch the shark in the face I think if you said to me, right, let me ask you, what's the one animal you wouldn't want to have an encounter with in the wild? I think Land great, or sea? Either. Land, sea, either. I think it's got to be great white, man. Yeah, it's probably a shark. Just because they're the scariest so, looking. And also, like a bear so, actually looks kind of cute. It's kind of scary, but it it's a cute animal in some ways. Like it's a just beautiful as it's mauling animal. you. Well, you look pretty, bear. Hey, bear. This like uh, this guy's like chocolate. No. Yeah, but sharks are like, are like they're they're just Ugh. general. They're scary looking fuckers. They oh, look evil. I got shivers right now. Um, and we're so defenseless in the sea. Yeah. We We're just this nothing. big, well, except floating for, piece except of for their little shit. jabs, the nose jabs, the nose jabs. <laughs> no, but grab. seriously, it's the nose jab. What's the classic scr- Scrubs episode? And he goes, you got to let go of your anger, man, or, uh, when, when they're talking to themselves. But it's like a different character. And he goes, I can't let go of my anger. I got I to gotta get that JD. And he goes, well, there's lots of things that you'll never get done if you keep that anger. And he goes, well, I tell you what, I've always wanted to punch a whale in the face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I punched a whale. <laughs> right in the face. Who said that? Went down like a sucker. Who said that? <laughs> a janitor. <laughs> classic. Classic janitor. Oh, I punched a whale once. <laughs> right in the face. Right in Went the face. down like a sucker. <laughs> I was looking at... Um, Shout out, George. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is what I wanted to tell you. There's this worm, yeah? I think you might have told me about this before, back in the day, but I came across yesterday. This worm goes into, like, caterpillars' bodies, yeah? Oh, takes over the naughty. brain and makes it kill itself. Yeah, that motherfucker's evil. What evil. the fuck? What evil. The fuck? And then in my fever state, yeah, I think I was going insane last night, I started thinking... Imagine insects. What if it took over me already? <laughs> imagine insects were huge. Oh well, you know uh, uh, what fucked. was I reading the other day that if if the oxygen levels on this planet hmm. were eight percent higher, which would make almost no difference to us, hmm. right? It would just we'd our lungs would just get bigger to to hold more oxygen because we'd get more in every breath or something like that. Yeah, in, insects would be something like thirty times the size they are now. What, just for the fact they have more oxygen yeah. available to them? Yeah, like they said, they were saying like cockroaches would be the size of us, almost. I just said to you downstairs though, like we're so lucky in regards like, imagine your cat, I said to you, was the size of a, like a like a car. Mm-hmm. 
How terrifying oh, would cats be? So cute. Oh I'll God, ride it. I'd be on top of him like, eee! as you humans, we probably would. We'd muzzle it. Yeah. Take all its teeth out and we'd ride them around. Ride them. We would, innit? Yeah, of course we would. I think I'll put the poor donkey. Ugh, the donkey poor just. Guy. Think just, about the pure mule. Oh, the mule. The mule can't even have babies, bro. <laughs> Some animals have it tough, innit? <laughs> that motherfucker's. Like, you're born as a donkey. Hit, hit, you have no aspirations in life. You're walking that beach with someone ties a big fat rope around your nose little annoying kid like spilling ice cream on your back and shit either that or you're in like fucking the arse end of vietnam helping dudes get like sulfur out of a sulfur mine i told you uh oh, my granddad my granddad day. was telling me in back in the day uh they'd go down the coal mines with a donkey mm. and they'd let him out in the summer and he'd run around the field and go blind <laughs> he'd go blind, I'm blind. <laughs> just being pitch black like, they don't even let the donkey come out at the end of the day like yeah we're all going home donkey so you're, you're, gonna, you're staying you're down here in a mine how deep poor yeah, donkey's just like what up, the man. fuck that's so fucked up back in the day they were like in some ways a lot more savage than we are oh yeah of course with regards to like human life animals all that shit man but it's but at the same time it was on a much smaller scale yeah. yeah and now it's like industrial mm. now you just got a conveyor belt of animals getting to the slaughter if you were like a dude growing up back in the day like it was your life was so different man so different can we come back to surviving things yes i'm really i'm really enjoying it you are <laughs> i'm really enjoying it <laughs> i just feel <laughs> imagine we give out this advice and just that one random person comes across it comes across the grizzly bear and it's like Jordan told me to take all my clothes off and then the bear's just like moving his toes away like ha you're an idiot <laughs> yeah but then he dies and then we never hear about it it says bless we no, don't get blamed he documents the whole thing on YouTube the Adidas nipple said this bro this, this. all ah! press is good press <laughs> 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 yeah if anyone can count as a bear and has ever listened to this shout us out yeah and please do take your clothes off <laughs> Back away slowly. I'm telling you, that's the way to do it. Tom's been filling your head with lies. We should just give out bro sign. <laughs> make a, we are. <laughs> make, just make a podcast about like purely based on survival, but just we so, make it up. This is how you survive a alien invasion. Yeah. Join the aliens. Oh fuck! Uh, did you see the Hawaii thing? What, what Hawaii thing? Oh, the the, the missile. <laughs> did you see what happened as soon as the thing went off? Oh my! Pornhub God. was popping off. Fuck off! <laughs> Every man went for a wank. Really. <laughs> Oh, what apparently, a dude response, apparently, man. Apparently, the, the, while the alarms were ringing out, Pornhub had never had so many hits from Hawaii. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Every man was just like, well, if I'm dying, I'm dying with my dick in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what a dude response. Like, all the women are, like, calling their loved ones, dude. <laughs> and can't get through. And I love the, the way the dude's just <laughs> screening it. Like, there's no, there's no, no, like, no, no. There's no nerves about, like, oh, like, I'm not going to be able to get hard. Just, like, straight away, man. Just, like, <laughs> boom, erection. <laughs> Why not? Going out with a bang. Danger wank, bro. Danger oh, wank. Danger wanks were the best. Danger man. wank. I remember I had one where we were walking back home with the fam, yeah? And I just sprinted ahead. Oh, classic. And then with my back to the front door, <laughs> I'm... How did you explain your uh, sprint away from You're me? a kid, isn't it? I'm like 15. I'm just like, I'm going to run. And I just, <laughs> but you know what the best thing I do is? The desperation to have that oh wank. Oh, God, I need you, this wank. You can't wait 10 no, minutes. No, it's got to be done God. now. But then I'm <laughs> back against the front door, yeah? bashing as i'm like busting up they, they start trying to get in the door and i'm like holding the door <laughs> like, like one sec <laughs> Didn't, i fell over <laughs> i remember this one like oh fuck man when you're a kid that you do in it you're just like when you first learn that you can like bash it's just this amazing thing when and you, you just bash until you can't produce any more gunk yeah well. i couldn't i couldn't produce anyway though when i first started oh yeah no but then you have like six wanks in a day and suddenly nothing comes out and you're like oh my god i've used it all up yeah <laughs> you're about those dudes who like die from like mass like 38 wanks and he died <laughs> no bodily fluids left it's a weird thing what well, are we <laughs> surviving now though one more thing about dicks. Once we go on okay, dicks, yeah, I can't just true. get it's off It's hard dicks, to get off. You know? It's you hard got, to get off that dick. You need to learn to get off that <laughs> dick, boy. Uh, he was saying, it was like, it's a weird... <laughs> I can't really went off on like a tangent. He was saying, the penis is a weird thing. He's like, you go to the toilet, yeah? He's like, you just got this like little floppy, innocent bit of skin that like wheeze. But he's like, when your dick's hard, it's just this rock hard, like mountainous thing. He was like, <laughs> he was like we're designed though to only be able to use it when we're in situations of like comfort and power. So it's like, yeah. say you're like really nervous. There's a girl you haven't been around. Yeah. You like her. You can't get it up. You're nervous. He's like, it's not going to work. He's like, mm-hmm. it's not like a rider horn that's just ready to go at all times. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. And he's like, you that would just be had- long if you just had a constant horn though. 
Oh, that'd be so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. Well, we wouldn't wear trousers how trousers no, are you now. you just tuck into your belt. No, there'd be special trousers which had like a dome over Oh, the yeah, yeah, for sure. Like a protective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we had a constant hard-on. Yeah, yeah. But you know how uncomfortable it is when you get a hard-on in jeans? See that stuff I got over there? Look, that next to that bullet ashtray, that little sash. Look, What's look, that bullet ashtray? Next, next to the Scrabble board, there's a uh, ashtray. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so that little sash, pick it up. This white thing? Yeah, yeah. One sec. So uh, I was giving this this the other day in the pub. Interesting little uh, doohickey. I'd like you to uh, analyze Read it, it. Read it out. This is. Oh god. <laughs> is this where you finally try and have sex with me live on? This the is podcast? when I lube you up. Yeah. Okay. This is oral jelly. Is it called Camagra? Mm-hmm. Composition. Each five gram contains da 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 da. Dosage as directed by physician. Directions for use. Open sachet by folding as shown in the picture and consume entire content. Banana flavoured or blackcurrant. Fla- what what flavour is it? This is blackcurrant. Blackcurrant. Yeah. One sachet for one time use only. You strictly... So I'm not understanding what it does yet. I'm going to let you fill us in. That is uh, porn industry strength Viagra. Wow. That shit will keep you hard for about 12 hours. You have to do the whole sachet. Mm, it's recommended by people who gave it to me not to do the whole sachet. <laughs> they said oh. they said do a quarter. <laughs> are you, have you gonna and then tr- throw the rest away? Are you going to try it? Well, no, because as they said, they like this guy gave it to me at, at work. He goes, right, mate, you fucking take this, yeah. Your missus, missus will love it. You rock hard for about seven, eight, nine hours, <laughs> mate. Fucking easy work. And I'm just looking at him, go, bro. I've been in this relationship six years. She don't want my dick for six, seven, eight <laughs> hours. She wants it for like five, six minutes max, finish her off and call it a day. What's the so no, I sex? probably will never use it. But you're welcome to use it. I know you're, you've just started, you. a, started a blo- <laughs> no, you've just started a blossoming <laughs> relationship. You get, you know, it's, it's that time when you're banging for like six, four, seven hours. But not to, not to, uh, <laughs> he's got time for that. He's got time for that. God. I like eating chocolate cake. I don't want to eat chocolate cake for an hour. Like yeah. no one wants to do anything for an hour. Mm. 20 minutes enough having said that though the other day oh, this is so grotesque but like I could perform yeah 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 in that uh, area in that, in, in that area two three hours yeah okay that's rare for me man it's a long time yeah sorry mate you like fucking amateurs over here free hair hey Mark free hair <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> get yourself a hit for my acre mate <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm actually all, that's, I'm, that's I'm, all right. That's all right. That, but that stuff, mate. I feel like it would give me anxiety. Get someone out down, yeah. I feel like I'd have anxiety. I got, I got like six ashes, mate. Have you? Yeah, I got there. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Who gave this to you? A freaky, dodgy man in the pub. Are you sure he's not trying to fucking uh, row hip and all the shit out of you? Yeah. Take it now, Jordan, man. Nah, he's my boy, isn't it? Take it now. Work in three hours when you get home. He's my boy, yeah. Next thing he's just. He's, bo- he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a he's a he's a Bob Dylan. His balls are just slapping your cheek and you can't move in the Wenlock toilet. <laughs> God. God. You're getting yourself turned on. So turned on. <laughs> Why am I hard? What are we surviving now? Big Ron Scary Dick. <laughs> sur- how to survive rape. <laughs> well, actually, funnily enough... I wonder how it tastes. I would... Not rape. That's God, I was about to get inappropriate. I was going to say lace my vagina with little with little uh, razor blades. God. Damn. Fuck with me now, boy. You'd be a crazy woman. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd be insane. Yeah, really dramatic and like you'd be like yeah, yeah. a nightmare to go out with. Oh, a nightmare. You'd be so needy, so needy. Because think how needy we are now oh, as yeah. men with like testosterone. Imagine we yeah, were yeah. women. Oh, yeah, imagine I didn't have as much. Hashtag testosterone. no sexist, but we'd be so needy, man. Oh yeah, I'd be a mess. So would I. I'd be a emotional, emotional wreck. mess. I'd be a slag. I'd be <laughs> a- <laughs> <laughs> there'd, be no, there'd be no flower unturned in my garden. <laughs> um, right, what are we surviving now? Survival episode, man. <laughs> Have you noticed, no matter what the topic is, we come back to dicks, being raped by men, and the fact that we might be gay. <laughs> we might have to rename the uh, the podcast, um, We May Be Gay. We May Be Gay. Mm. And then we'll just get loads of fucking gay dudes. Fans man. of fans. Fans are fans. <laughs> fans are fans. We might offend them. <laughs> I'll send a dick pic to get a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, no, we're surviving um, a nuclear bomb now. So listen to, f- this is how stupid people are and how we're not ready for any form of, I actually, this is the first thing I thought of. So it goes, uh, live reaction to Hawaii uh, missile. Mm-hmm. And says, I think she's on Twitch. 
Right. So she's like filming and she gets, you know what's kind of fucked up? You get the message on your phone and yeah. your phone goes, boo, boo. I was like, Jesus, man. So that's like built into all our yeah, phones. We can do that. Yeah, it's long. And she goes, oh, why mistake? Guys, are you getting this? What do I do? And just sitting there, I was like, you turn your stream off, bitch, and you fucking get underground. You go, you go to the basement of yeah. wherever you're at. You go under a table. Like, oh my God, Mark, Mark, did you get it? Like, oh my God, you'd be dead. She'd die. Yeah, like, she'd she'd be p- dead. She was pissing me off watching yeah, she'd her. she'd be dead. Jesus, we're not ready. All right, well, what would you do? Okay, now, the phone goes off now. What do we do? <laughs> we, we load up Pornhub and just jack <laughs> each other <laughs> off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back to back, back, to back wank? <laughs> No, well, I tell you what, uh, I don't even know where we'd go around here. I don't know, man. Because I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, fuck, it's a good thing to think of. To be fair, I tell you, oh no, that's long. We're near the wrong thing. First of all, how the fuck did this happen? But like, how did this get out? Like, how did what get out? So, like, did some dude just like press a button? And yeah, the yeah. wrong button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so my next question is, how is there not like a fucking like when I go on like to buy like a pair of shoes, it goes, oh, are you sure, sure yeah. you would like to set off the missile alarm? Yes. Are you really sure? And are you reading this? Yes. He just basically clicking all the okays. Like, yep. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, it just, it, 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 it took him half an hour to, so people thought it was happening for half an hour. Do we know who fucked up or no? Some random dude. They blamed it on. Definitely sacked. Oh, hundred percent. Of course. Kind of a cool story. Man's though. gone. You, do you know what? Joke side. It must have been terrifying. Yeah. How many people do you think called their like exes I still love you or called their, their wife I never fucking loved you? Yeah, there'd have been a few There's got to be some like shit like that, that man. Out, yeah. Yep. I tell you what we would do. We would get in your car and drive to Hendon. Right. And go into the underground station. Think how busy the underground station is going to be. Don't matter. You just got to go on the ground. Do you know what? You probably there'd probably be a lot of people who would die. By getting crushed underground. It'd be fucking chaos, man. I don't think... I think you, you're you you're overestimating how well people would react to this. I think we'd, we'd show up at Hendon Underground bare empty. Like, <laughs> live. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing. Just, bro. You'd just be hearing screaming everywhere. And Everyone else is just at home <laughs> wanking furiously. Like. No, I think, I think we'd... Uh, yeah. I'd go. I'd do, that's what I would do. I would try to get God, to an underground man. station as quickly as possible. It must have been fucked up, though, man. Did you see the the, the footage of everyone just like running around like ants? Because mm. they are ants, but like running around, like no idea what to do. Idiots. But what do you do, though, man? It's like they say, like where the fuck would you go? That's actually uh, a very underground station. That's a very good shout. Nearest underground station. That's a very good shout, man. That's what they did in the war, isn't it? Everyone went to the underground. Yeah. God, you're wise. I wouldn't think of that. I'd be running around, it, dick out. If it was nuclear attack, <coughs> though, we're talking. We got a whole another, another kettle of chips here. Because then you're talking. Really, you got you got a half an hour warning. Say, yeah, it pops up on your phone now. Uh, a nuclear warhead landing in your but country. But it didn't in say you hour. have half an hour though. It no, just no, no, no. I know it didn't. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. no. But supposedly, all those alerts are supposed to be twenty to thirty minutes. Oh, really? Alerts. Okay, yeah. I didn't know. So that. you've got twenty to thirty. I know the one in Hawaii is supposed to be twenty minutes from North Korea to Hawaii. Fuck, that's it's supposed to. Take is that 20 what they said it was? So they, yeah, they're yeah. like, it's North Korea. Yeah. Well, that's why it was put in place there because North Korea could officially hit them. Whatever, because they've done tests and it, they see they can go. So that they far. can reach uh, Hawaii. Yeah, I'm sure they can reach further. Um, <sighs> But yeah, if it's a nuclear attack, yeah, you got to stay somewhere where you can have a shower. Oh, to like get the radiation, mm-hmm. yeah. And supposedly, you want to, once this once our alarm goes off, you want to barricade every window. That is not enough time, man. 20 minutes. Yeah, it's going to be, you're going to be pushed. But you want to barricade every window, then you got to... That's when you want to live in that little studio chilling, flat, man. And then you want to... You're chilling. Well, you're chilling until the bomb thing goes off. <laughs> Definitely not chilled. No, not chilled. Yeah, but freaking the fuck. Well, you're running. I'm running up and down the road, smashing in people's yards, taking as much food as I can into our house. Oh, we gather. Yeah, I'd go and hunt and gather, kill if need be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't survive this one, did you, bitch? <laughs> um, and then, oh, this is. Where so d- there was up. something I was reading about. You have to take a. You got to take a shower. With no shampoo. 
I've heard because this. shampoo spreads yeah, the I've fucking this, like radioactive this. bullshit or something, and you want to get you want to get cotton buds and run it along your eyelids, back of the ears, in your ears. I'll just pour it, a bucket of bleach over you. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Rub you down. Um, and yeah, and then they'd say you don't really want to go out for like at least a twenty five years. <laughs> no, at least a couple of days. Can you imagine coming out? And then you got to put a little mask on. Can you imagine shit. coming out of your house after that? Just like whoa. You'd officially be in a metropolis desert. Fuck, man. It would just be like red skies, red like cloud skies. It'd be so dust trippy. everywhere. You would trip out, man. Yeah. Especially man. if you were on your own and you didn't know where anyone else was. Well, as well, I mean, depending on where it landed, your yard would probably be destroyed as well. Mm. So most of what I just said wouldn't work. I feel like we wouldn't have a hope in Well, hell. if it landed in London, London ain't that big. It's pretty big. But I think most... If it hit, like, central London, I think most of London would just be obliterated. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Devastation. Yeah. Yeah, well, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um, yeah, so we didn't really help you survive that one. No. But let's just say we all die. So who needs to survive that? I don't know if I'd fucking want to survive, man. You come out. You know what's know interesting, what yeah? Because like. then, say, say, in some ways, right? Mm. Would it be unnatural, or is that just the continuation of the natural world? Like they create, like as nature went on, humans were created. We created some other shit. We caused this mass damage, and then all the humans die, and then like the cockroaches live. They on. say that cockroaches. Oh will yeah, survive, they, yeah, 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 yeah. So the cockroaches will live on. Why is that? There'll be bare animals underground and in the sea that will survive. Why is it that cockroaches survive? Because they've got some mad ability. They, I think they can, they can just breathe like in. They, they can survive on like a low amount of oxygen, basically, or something like that. God. And they can survive like extreme heat. I'm just saying, all right, cockroaches, you're, 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 fl- you're taking the flame, man. You're taking the torch. Run with it. They just run the world. But that's what I mean, like. No, but eventually, bare other shit would evolve, right? It's like like something like 70 or like, I don't know, like 120 million years ago, yeah? There was like a volcanic age where everything on Earth, every animal on, on the on land died. Mm. Most animals in the sea died. And but look. a little thing survived. Do which eventually still... grew, but Little amoeba survived, yeah, which eventually grew into everything else again. So we already had a million species, trillions of species of insects and random shit, mm-hmm. all gone, extinct forever, and a bunch of new ones just arrived. Do you think we're still it's evolving? so mad. It's too... Uh, I mean, yeah. But it's mm. too... It's, it's obviously too slow for us to ever see it happening. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, apparently we're not going to have an appendix, they reckon. Why? The more we... Because we don't need it. There's no functional purpose. Fair. You just whip them out. People whip them out for well, fun. Like. Yeah, a lot of people say... I mean, I know when I, s- I spoke to my uncle and stuff, he says that we, we'd, we've we stopped evolving. And there's the idea that it, it's our intelligence. Yeah. Really that all, it's that, technology and, yeah, and well, what we're creating, man. Well, that's it. Well, because cause, uh, evolution is a physical thing. Yeah. We haven't evolved physically in thousands of years. No. Um... You know, it all comes down like if you if if you got a baby, a medieval baby, right now, and raised him in this century, he would still grow up to just be a normal a medieval baby. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. not like just because he was he was born like ten thousand years ago, don't mean that. Yeah, he's he not going to be. He'd less, still pick up everything. If you took him to the gym and he ate bare clean, he'd still grow how we grow. Yeah, if he, as in you put him in school, he'd still just be a, a regular human. Yeah, it's not like a Neanderthal. That even if you put him in school, he'd still be like, no. uh, 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 Igor hungry. <laughs> Igor. Uh. If you're always called Igor, isn't it? Yeah. Igor. Igor usually works in a little lab and he's got a hunchback. So I'm just reading your uh, bear spray thing. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, One guy was saying about that, he goes, he sprayed the bear spray and the bear ran straight through it and charged it. <laughs> 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 oh shit I forgot I emptied the bear spray and put you just a walk, candy in you there. just walk back into the shop covered in blood like put the bear spray on the counter I want my money back <laughs> more yeah, more pepper in there mate <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah it's good stuff man hmm. but yeah I, I, I recommend you people watch that uh, Grizzly man fuck Grizzlies man batter them any day 
They're so fucking terrifying. There's but so many animals that terrifying. If Khabib can take a bear, I can take a bear. Khabib did wrestle a cub. Oh, did you see the, any of the UFC stuff? No, I didn't see any of it. I, d- that I did giant see... giant and guy lost. Well, I saw... Who's that... What guy won the belt? But the white guy. The white guy? Yeah. Oh, Stipe. Stipe. Yeah. He Stipe. beat Nganu, the giant. Oh, is it? And I bet James... So so James wanted to bet uh, our friend James when we were in the gym. He said he thought... He goes, no, Nganu's going to bat him. Nganu's going to bat him. So I said, oh, let's make a, a little wager. So I called him on Saturday night to say, okay, how much do you want to bet? And he goes, oh, how about we do the loser... So he thinks Nganu, I take Stipe... The loser, and you need to help me with this. The loser has to do a gym workout wearing my 118 costume with the wig on. Okay. And we agreed to it, and now he's backing out of it. Of course he is. That's bullshit, man. Don't you want to? I think we should make him stick to that. Yeah, okay, we can try, but I mean, it, it, you you were both going to back out of it. I'd have done it. Liar, you I both lie. I liars. swear to God, I'd I don't have done see it. why any of you make these bets because you both, you, you're, you're never going to do, do them. I always do my bets. Just, when have you ever what name one like money bets oh, for money yeah that's something else but like but the old like oh you gotta get on top of that building naked oh, yeah all right yeah I'll do that when I lose yeah yeah that's different it's all though. bollocks because one one eight in a in a gym's not that bad yeah especially because he works there he's gonna laugh at you ah look at that guy yeah. yeah to be fair he could just do it while no one's in there exactly mm. I mean I'll be filming every single second James you you're gonna have to be held accountable for this one. Mm. I want to see you in that one one eight outfit. And I know you're a fanboy, James, and I know you're listening. Damn right. <laughs> Fucking, like I know that his ears are perked. James is on the fanboy list. Um. Right. Well, will we survive the next guys? I wish we had live callers now. How would yeah. you? Su- <laughs> hey, bro. What would you do if like a meteor was heading our way? How about this? A pit bull. Easy. He's Spread that bitch. I want to put you in like a ring with all these animals that you fucking, <laughs> that you sit here in your high horse mugging off like oh, batter them all. Pitbull, no problem. All at the same time, mate. Put put me in a Crocodile, put me in a ta- put me in a, in a in a ring, yeah. That's half water tank, yeah, half Ooh. land, yeah. And I got to fight a shark, a bear, yes. and a pit bull all at the same time, yeah. Yes. I guarantee you, I guarantee you. I come out wearing some shark skin coat, <laughs> <laughs> bulldog fucking. No, you have the fin on crepes. your back. The fin on your back. <laughs> yeah, I got the fin on my back. I got a, a fur bear coat. That'd be amazing. And I got a little dog on a leash. I've always said this before. There needs to be a simulation where we can fight these animals, man, and just see how badly they would destroy there us. There is a simulation where you can do that. It's so, called life. Oh yeah, but you're getting code. Life is ending. Code. I watched the family guy uh, yesterday where death like sprains his ankle and <laughs> people realise they can't die. Yeah. So yeah. we're just like shooting each other in the face, <laughs> like jumping off buildings. I was like to my brother, that is what we would do. Yeah. Isn't it? We'd all just be like, oh my God. Well, there, there was this sick Danish film where God gives out everyone their, I was saying this a few episodes ago, God gives everyone their date the date they're going to die on That's so like there's one guy and it all pops up on everyone's phones so there's it's one like guy the, it's uh, like 62 years before you die and he's like I'm going to test this out he like starts a YouTube channel and he just like jumps out of is building. this all in the film yeah yeah oh, that's so, like he starts a YouTube channel where he jumps out of a building and well, he doesn't die. Like, never dies but every time he, he like he jumps out of a building lands on another guy and kills him and obviously that guy's phone shows that he was supposed to just die oh. so this guy is just bobbing around with their like neck braces and shit but you can't die you're just jumping off buildings and shit it's jokes that is kind of cool that's yeah. like the same principle as uh, that Black Mirror I spoke about as well. Yeah. Where you, bit, yeah. your relationship gets the expiration date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's weird, man. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. I need to watch more Black Mirrors. Yeah, I was going to watch one last night, but I never yeah. got around to it. Why is it that every time I go friends. to watch it, I just don't want to watch it, though? It's weird, isn't it? Because it's intense, isn't it? Bro? Like, I'd rather yeah. watch just like friends just having a little giggle together. Mm-hmm. Talks to me, I was like, oh, let's watch Black Mirror. I was like, it's very like, you've got to be in the mood, man. Yeah, it's heavy, man. You've got to actually want to... Yeah. Fuck your brain up. Yeah, man. you got to be prepared to trip out a little, man. Yeah. Sometimes you just want a nice little... Uh, yeah, sometimes a guy just wants to chill, How man. I Met Your Mother. Yeah. Empty, empty uh, viewing, I call it. So look at the start of this podcast, yeah? yeah? This is how much you talked, this is how much I talked. God, I'm a chatty Cathy. <laughs> oh, is that actually what that is? That yeah, is yeah. So we're looking at... What is this, Jordan? Describe what we're watching. The waveforms, man. The waveforms. We're looking at all the wavelength and like the sound. Um, God. God. 
couple Although of you got a little bit there, right? shit. Look at you piping up at about that must minute been, twenty. That must have been the fucking. Um, you, you had your Viagra. End of <laughs> end of the world, shit. Isn't it? Can Camagra please try and sponsor us? Camagra or oh my god, our new sponsors now sponsored by Camagra. I'm Here to very, get you hard. very <laughs> intrigued about. It. I've never heard of a jelly either. Like it's always like a pill. Viagra. Apparently, apparently this is the stuff that they take in porn, isn't it? Jesus, man. Apparently in porn, they ain't about them pill life. There. When do people say that to me? Like, oh, this will give you the biggest. But how? Like a boner is a boner, right? Oh yeah. No, but it's not gonna give you the. It, like it's not gonna make your boner any bigger. It's just gonna keep it there for in indefinitely. I was told with Viagra, you still have to be like aroused. So like hashtag no names, but I was talking to a girl who was saying that, and this is going to sound, because of all my gay jokes, it's going to sound like this is about me now, but she was going out with a dude who she thought was gay. And I think she was saying like they tried Viagra, but still nothing happened. Mm. Because if you're not aroused, yeah, like there's still no blood well, you flow. Got, I guess you got to open the gate. You got to open the gate. You know what I mean? Otherwise, where'd the blood go? Where'd the blood go? <laughs> 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 yeah I mean, how sense. horrible so why can't an old dude get a uh, erection then like what's the science can't open that? that gate bro is that the science you go doctor what's that happening that gate is rusty as gate, fuck gate be open bro <laughs> <laughs> you shut that gate <laughs> Um, I don't know man I guess that gate look that gets, up I need to know the gate why can't old men get rusty? erections the look gate gets rusty bro yeah well it's obviously something to do with age, water damage <laughs> testosterone yeah you've been fucking your whole life <laughs> God, that one time it starts happening to you, you're just like, oh. Well, they say that it's mainly mental, though. Yeah. Well, even when it happens to you as a young dude, man, the next time you're like, it's, it's on your mind a little bit. Yeah, but I've t- I reckon with old people, they just can't bother, bro. It's just like, yeah, that, but no, but they want the to. F- yeah, but they want to fuck, it. man. That's why they go doctor and get yeah, this. Sometimes pill. man wants to bang as well, and it's all mental, isn't it? You as a man or a random man? Me, a random man. Everyone. <laughs> God. Don't bring the fans want you to open up, Jordan. <laughs> All right, they're the erectile dysfunction. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's you on the fridge. The pub- <laughs> the dick's there's, on the fridge. There's no man in the pub. You've gone to the doctor. There's no porn <laughs> industry and he's giving you this weird black current Have you shown it to your girlfriend? Yeah, she don't want it. Not interested. Not interested. They just don't what want it. What did I tell you? I told you she don't want they it don't for longer than it. like 10, 15. Yeah. You've sold it to us. Like, I could go for like eight hours and her brain's gone, yeah. Not really that bothered. Yeah. That's it. She mm. She's not. God. What do women want? It's a great film. It's a great film. Great film. What do they want though? Still watch that film. Still don't know what they want. Don't you? Nah. They want They want man to understand them. Companionship. Companionship. <laughs> um, I don't know what they want, but it seems as though they want a lot of attention like us <laughs> <laughs> do they though because i've been with a girl who doesn't want, want no attention bro uh, sometimes you do sometimes only when i'm not getting it <laughs> um you know it is nice though that first um like when you're in that initial early phase of seeing a girl and it's still like new and fresh and you're still like nice to each other it's always nice when you're nice to each other when you start the little really, jibing yeah. it's when Just the jabbing. jibing starts the jabs, jabs, jabs. oh she's still here jabbing and jibing the old missish the old bowl and chum alright the old bowl look and chum look at you super French you off have a good day love you see you tomorrow see you later Faye. bye yeah speak of the devil yeah ears must have been burning ears must have don't cough God, on this my, cough is deep don't cough in my vicinity sorry you're just letting off your little atom bombs I actually think that I'm like fucking flemming up last night I'm like spitting out my window and I'm like some little bird gonna like fly over oh, land and I die poor bird poor bird poor magpie see not magpie that pick much. it up whenever you take your mic like that, I think you're about to interview me so <laughs> so Thomas <laughs> so Mr. Harper how long you not been able to get it up <laughs> one time <laughs> oh your classic phone call so I'm laying in bed next to a girl I've told Jordan that the first uh, encounter I had with her the old uh, the old rod <laughs> wouldn't stand and he's like put he's happens like, to everyone he's like put me on loudspeaker I'm like god this can't go right but okay put me on loudspeaker he's like 
don't worry, mate. If you can't get it up, just think of me. I was like, oh, God. So embarrassed. <laughs> was it really embarrassing? <laughs> no, because I was drunk. But potential embarrassment. Hey, man. I'm just, I just give you comedy value. You do. Look, you man. are hilarious, man. That's what when, I do. Do you know what it is? Because do. you don't drink that much. When I see you drunk, it's just funny. So you're like, yeah. cause you, so like when you see someone drunk every weekend, you just get to know drunk them. Yeah. But drunk Jordan has like he's a, a rare, whole, he's a rare being. He's a whole nother Jordan. He's like a, he's like a very rare Pokemon that pops his head yes. out of a bush once in a while, but you can never catch him. Yeah. It's Pokemon Go. You if it's Pokemon Go, him. you'd be like a Charizard. I like to think I'm a Mewtwo. Even better, you're a Mewtwo. <laughs> you're a Mewtwo, and you can just never quite get him. <laughs> yes, exactly what you'd be. <laughs> Mewtwo. Do you remember that game? Fuck it, that oh, game was great madness. game. Great game. That game took over the world for like a month. Oh, what, that one? Oh, that one's dry. Pokemon Go, man. Yeah, that was dry. It's still going. They've yeah, got adverts for it on TV now. Didn't someone say like they didn't make any money or something? I like, find that hard to believe. I read something where it's like they never, they didn't capitalize on it when it was like at its biggest. So they got everyone in, but then everyone got <laughs> bored really quickly. Mm. So they literally got everyone involved. Yeah. Before... They could fit. This might be. I've just. This is just what someone's told me. But like before, they had a chance to like capitalize on on uh, like any profit. Everyone had sort of like got bored and moved on. Well, I, I mean, I often think like I saw the other day they had an advert on TV. Bring so up when, old, bring when up I old Pokemon Go. when I see that, I, I tend to think. Didn't oh, we they're look doing this up good. before though, and it was worth like a shitload of money. At least it gets kids out and about. It's not like Call of Duty. Yeah. Bro, it, 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 i got to say, it had nothing on the classic Pokemon on Game Boy. Put, put it this way. I Think I'm, of the concept of how sick it is. Yeah, like. no, the concept was sick, but we played it for a month, right? I'm telling you now, that Game Boy didn't leave my hand for like two, three, four, five years. True, but they didn't work out a way to, like, that's what I'm saying. It was too, like, you end up just catching the same shit. Like, they should have made it, like, some madness. Like, like me, we used to go to, like, the fucking, like, bowls club in Hendon. Like, me, Dad, and Ryan and, like, start fighting people. It was, like, it was insane, man. Pokemon Go isn't making as much money for Nintendo as you think. Oh, read it out. Mm, didn't, we, didn't you tell me off of reading articles direct on this? Fuck the ants. I need to know. Uh, Nintendo stock price has more than doubled to $265 a Talk share. Talking to your mic, bro. You're like airy. Really? Mm, no, it's better. When you talk to the side like that. God, that's being... Like, oh, cha, cha, cha. What do you mean, ah, cha, cha? Like sound, I can hear your... What, the echo? No, it's not an echo. It's like a weird... Just talking to your mic, huh? Yeah, well, I've... Uh, Just trying to keep professional can here. You keep, can you keep me up to date? Because I'm not wearing headphones. No, that's the first time. Don't lie to me. I know I've done it before. No, I've been doing it all night down here. Yeah, that's when it doesn't Yo, work. Yo, blood. You sound like you're in a... You're, you're wearing a snorkel. God, but I've been talking into it like that for ages. You haven't. Ugh, you're lying to me. Uh, well, as soon as I heard you, I told you. So you obviously haven't. Look, I can't be what Did I just say really it's worth shit. $36 billion? Yeah. So it's not doing as well no. as you think, but it's worth first. No, the GPS-powered location-based game is the top-grossing iOS and Android app in the free in the 36 billion mobile gaming industry. Ah, I'm with you. I'm with you. So it's the highest-grossing ga- app in the game industry. So that's all I need to know. Thank you. Yeah, it's doing well. It's doing fine. You're gonna be fine. It's like when you're like, oh, uh, when you hear like, oh, Waitrose profits dropped from four billion to three point seven billion. It's like, oh, poor Waitrose. That's what I was saying the other day about Facebook when you brought that up, and it's like the new, the new, um, whatever stream newsfeed. Newsfeed has costed three billion. Yeah. Well, they still made twelve billion and still didn't pay one point six billion pounds worth of tax. So mm-hmm. I don't care. Facebook's a weird one, man. Like if you actually think about like the idea of facebook and how it started to what it is now is so different man is like it? think yeah 100 percent. it's Why? so different like when i remember facebook like when it first came out it was like people would have like statuses about like what they're doing and like oh uh, right, yeah, i guess so whereas now it's just a giant platform for like stupid videos and like weird advertising and like jordan has like this Okay. Yeah, fine. but you have to uh, random person. Yeah, like but this. since like, since Facebook started, right, you had Twitter come in to take over the whole status game. Correct. You had Instagram Instant come picture. in for the picture game, and Snapchat come in for like random clips. random clip bit. I guess so. Do Facebook not own left. Instagram though? Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. Yeah. But and I think those, Facebook is left essentially as almost like a news feed. 
That well, yeah, but think how so that's completely changed then from when they started. Was yeah, only ten so. years ago. Yeah. I like it better like this. Oh, I can't stand it. I, See, I to don't. To me, it's a bit like a like a BBC now, but with obviously less. But I don't want to get my news from Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I see where you're coming from. But again, it's more of like people post news articles they've been reading on there as well. Like I legit go on Facebook now probably like once a week, if that. When Facebook first came out, I remember we were freaking addicted to it. Like we were just constantly, everyone was on their news feed, statuses, like. Yeah, people used to post pictures nonstop on that thing as yeah. well. But I guess really now it's Instagram. Anymore, yeah. But it's weird that like, so why did, pe- so they already had a platform they could do it on and then Instagram came out and then they had to do it on Instagram as well. Like why not just, it was, do you not think it's a bit strange? Like, Yeah, but it's like humans get bored so you've got to just get onto the next thing, the get them on thing. there quickly, isn't it? Because yeah. eventually it's going to come. So if you just get them on yours sooner, it means they don't go onto the other. So they, as soon as Instagram come up, they were like, right, let's shun everyone over here before they mm-hmm. go figure it out themselves. But also what happens is anything that gets big, Facebook just buys. Yeah. So they actually I don't, don't think care. They, they bought Snapchat, I think. I don't think they bought Twitter, though, or something like that. There's one that they haven't bought. They don't own Twitter, yeah. They don't own Twitter. But they bought Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They bought Snapchat. They bought Instagram. Yeah. I wonder what's bigger now, like Instagram or Facebook? Probably still Facebook. In terms of, like, uh, users, like who has more users? I'd still guess Facebook, no? Look that shit up. I don't know. I'd, I'd actually... I feel like Instagram... Oh, I'm going to go Facebook. Loser has to do a 118 well, workout. Actually, you're right. Facebook will have more... Subs- like people on it. <laughs> It'll have more profiles, Yeah, I think. Yeah. But I feel like there'll be more activity on Instagram. Like more people are scrolling through Instagram than they are through Facebook, I reckon. Yeah, but like, that's my issue. So like, my news feed is just like, it's not actually... It, it looks like there's activity, but it's not. It's just like, oh, someone liked this. Instagram versus Facebook users. Oh, the battle is on. Uh, market leader Facebook with the first social network to pass 1 billion registered accounts. Currently sits at 2.06 million monthly active users. Uh, Instagram, Instagram has 700, 700 million. million. That's a lot less. Think about that. 2 billion users. That's um, pretty much 25% of the world. Was it? it was 7 billion. That was a few yeah. years ago. So say seven billion. That's even more. That's, that's it. <coughs> Sorry, that's insane, man. And then think yeah. of how many people don't have access to computers and blah 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 blah. The older generation who like don't really do you know what I mean get involved. You know what's mad, yeah? That. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's mad is that America. <laughs> uses <laughs> so so Facebook. <laughs> guess which country uses Facebook the most? Oh, that tickled me. Huh? It's obvious. What guess country which country uses, uses fa- Facebook the most? America. Yeah, but I think you said it. You went America. I mean, yeah, guess what? Yeah, yeah I, I would have guessed America. Fuck yeah. you, everyone. I would have guessed. Um, that. But think about China, bro. They have so many more people. They're not using it. Yeah. Well, they are using it, but certainly not in the same way. What's going on over there? Hey, China, what are you doing over there? Hey, what are you doing, China, bro? China. I never know what you're doing back there. Hey, China, what are you doing? Hey, China! <laughs> Me love! <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, that is weird. Well, man, you didn't even know I was about to karate chop your ass. No, no, nunchuck your Can ass. Can we go and watch Wedding Crashers? I do love it. Oh, I love it. I haven't watched it for... Such it's a always, classic. Give it another year, I'll have left it long enough where I can watch it. Because you know when you overwatch it? I need film? another year before I can hit Tropic Thunder again as well. Love yes. that shit. Do you remember we laughed at uh, due date so fucking hard? So much. Brought it back to him and I was like, Mum, you've got to watch this. George, you've got to watch it. And then it just wasn't... They didn't laugh as how we laughed, man. Yeah, we, were, we were very high. We were very high. Very high on that Thai weed like, wrapped in tinfoil. Like, like so high. God, I miss that so much, man. I miss going out on our little balcony, smoking just high weed, going back in, munchies. Do you know we'd go out for a dinner in the evening? Mm. Maybe like have like a to meal. That, to that little crustaceans place. Or just wherever we go, like, and then uh, not necessarily coast to me, but then we'd always come back, we'd like go to like the, the corner shops and buy like loads of like crisps and milk and just yeah. like random shit and then just get high, watch <laughs> films, <laughs> go out on the balcony, just mong out, talk. Oh, so fucking good. Good man. times. Good times. Great times. Great times. I was talking a lot about traveling this weekend as well. We were saying like we can't understand people who don't want to like see the world and like travel. You know, some people just like, oh, fuck that, man. 
Yeah, fuck that. I'm I'm good, bro. I'm happy seeing the same two square miles for yeah. the rest of my life. But I I, I grow feel like, up. I man. feel like I'm good at seeing things from other people's perspectives, but I can't understand that mindset. No, I don't get that. Of just like not caring. Just like no, I'm fine here. Yeah, I don't get Happy that. to just go to work in their job. I find the, the same, same with thing, people same who just who want to go, oh, yeah, I'd love to see. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right, man. I'd love to see Sydney and Paris and Rome. It's like, bro, they're just all cities. Don't you want to see a mountain or like mm. a fucking massive view? But see, I can see that perspective. Like, I can see that. Like, you just love yeah, cities. You love the, like, hustle bustle. You love all the restaurants. You love the, the busyness of a city. Like, sometimes <laughs> when you go to, like, a new city, it is amazing. Like, oh, fuck, man, this is cool. And you get that weird, different vibe. I can understand that. Yeah, Although it's not what I like. Yeah, but come I just, on, man. It's, I mean, there's, t- there's mountains, bro. Yeah, but some people don't like that. I get I get that. But you like some a people, building. Yeah, but it's not like you like a building. It's like, it's not, if you just say it like that, you like a mountain. Uh-huh. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like a Shit's building. It's big, isn't it? <laughs> it's a building. Naturally big. made. Naturally made. True. Yeah. Why haven't we built a fucking mountain building? Yet? Oh, Why haven't we, we built oh, do you a like, mountain? Do you yet? like to look at those things where people sit and do paperwork? But you, hate I like to, to go look at things. When we, yeah, did, when it you was bring your teeth because <laughs> I'm angry. I'm fucking angry. I'm fucking <laughs> angry. <laughs> you snarled at me there. How dare these <laughs> crap dogs? Like dog. uh, when we were in London the other day, I could tell you didn't like the atmosphere. Good, then what's there to like? Oh, ants everywhere. But people like that. Ugh, they it's like so busyness grim, and, man. And I don't know. I don't know. You can't. Really I tell you what. I went, I went. I went. Walked through London the other day for the Lumiere Lumiere festival. Oh, you're so cultured. I'm so cultured. It was waiting for you to I'm drop so that one. Waiting for you to bring that up. Um, yeah, Lumiere. Just say it, man. Like, you know, say it in I'm a French man, accent. Yeah, Lumiere. 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 The Lumiere. Um, and uh, yeah, I actually enjoyed walking around London, and I actually went to where we were the other day as well because there was a few things around there. Where did we go the other day? Leicester Square. O'Neill's or Leicester Square. Oh yeah, Leicester Square. And. Um, it's right next to like Chinatown there. Ooh. Disgusting. Oh, really? Bro. Oh, I was about to say, can we go to Chinatown now? Oh, yeah, no, the food's so good there. Yeah. I, I, I went and had Oh, you mean like noodles. cleansing this? No, as in just, it, brother, you're just like, you're like sardines. Oh. Ugh. Is there a lot of Chinese disgusting. people there? Or is it mostly like. It's just tourists everywhere. Yeah. But you can always tell if a place Bro, is you're good bopping if around like... there as well. You, we should. We should. You should come around there, yeah, just for a walk when, you, mm. when we're not going to like O'Neill's or something, yeah. It, it honestly, it, it's a little bit grim, bro. They're just like big M and M stores, and like big. It's just like what these people are walking around it, uh, like oh yeah, London. It's like nah, bro. It's an M and M shop and a fucking Adidas shop. That's from America. That's from Germany. There's your Nike shop that's from fucking America. Well, it's touristy, no, no, I'm just looking around. Shop. Where is this bollocks, mm-hmm. man? Yeah, well, it's just like a tour. Cities generally become money makers, and therefore they appeal to the tourists. Well, how about you fuck off back home, tourists? Sightseeing. It's the economy, bro. Why don't you go down Cornwall, yeah? Get a fucking good British fucking pasty down, yeah? Yeah, look at the sea. Bit of fucking... Go look at the White Cliffs of Dover. There is so... It's if, a real if, culture. If I actually think about it, like... I don't know if this is just because I live in London, but there's so many better places to see in England than London. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say that because there's a lot of history and, like, interesting stuff, but, but not like going to... I see I London know. how I see. I if I, if I was to go, has the West I see London shit, as if is that of how I view Thailand. So if I was like to say, as an English guy, if I had to recommend someone and they were like, "Oh, we want to travel England," I'd say do like a week in London max, four days. Yeah, but then I'm not going to say do a week anywhere else. Oh, I am. Where you could do a week in like Cornwall? Oof, yeah, it's a definitely bit boring. I don't know, man. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like you're gonna get bored quicker of walking around a very busy city, shopping and eating effectively, <laughs> than going to the beach, chilling. Like no, but see, there is a lot of nice stuff to do in London, like going to the museums and there going is. to yeah, like there there's there's a lot of like, activities to do. You don't just. <laughs> do you know what I was gonna say? I was gonna say you pretty much do everything there is to do in London in an afternoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but you know what I mean? Like you know what was weird actually? I was bopping down through London and. And I re- I had this like moment of clarity where I realised we were all like the dirty one percent on the planet. I'm just looking around, brother. Yeah? You have a lot of those moments. And though. everyone's just in these fancy restaurants with everyone's got like Yeezys on. They got like two gold chains on. I'm just looking around. I'm just like, what is this? This isn't real life. Mm-hmm. Most people don't have a fucking roof and clean water, bruv. Uh, you got people here fucking chucking chips at pigeons. <laughs> it's a fucking 
It, I, it was weird, man. It's I a read weird the other world. day, if you earn eighteen thousand pounds a year or more, you're in the top five percent of richest people on the planet. Mm-hmm. You know how easy it is to earn eighteen grand? Like, well, I think it's it's basically the top five percent have a roof and clean water. Yeah. Fucked up. Think about that, guys. Think while about while you're in your clean old houses. Yeah, I mean, I got a roof. I got heating. I'm all right. We've got a little heater right here. we got a little heater right here. That sounded weird. we got a little heater right here. Man's always packing heat. Yeah. If you're real, you know what that means, yeah? Many men. Many, know, many, many, me. many men. Does he not get in trouble for that Wish shit? That I listened to that this morning and I thought Lord, that. I don't got no more. Stop. Don't look to the sky no Stop. more. Stop. Have mercy on me I will walk out this door. Sorry. What? Does he not get in trouble for what? Uh, that young and guy. Where he's in his songs like many men had a girl, but like he's copying the kind of lyrics. And does that not like no? Well, he made a song and he says many men in it. He goes many men had a girl by me. Da, 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 da. Like he, he changes the words. Um, Is that allowed? It's a grey area. Mm. It's a grey area. I wonder if he had to like pay for that. Nah, I doubt it. Mm. I'm I'm sure he just sort of made it and just sort of in the hope that Fifty Cent doesn't. Mm. Yeah, but it's like a huge song. Not huge, but like. I don't know, maybe they did have to just sign off on some samples. Philly was like, just hit me, have a little watch or something. Treat mm. me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, mate. I don't know. You do get pulled off. I was watching... Uh, oh, who was I talking to? Get what? Yeah, James was saying this. He was saying... um, <laughs> He was like, can't we? Ju- can't you just have like a channel where you put like clips of other people's podcasts on like funny bits? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if that could work. Like, there must be some sort of thing. He's like, no, you can. Like, you can just, like, put... And I was like, yeah, but it's, like, their podcast. Like, you can't just, like... Mm. And and then I looked into it, and you can't do that. Well, it's like... It's like what they said about if you got... Something to do with... If you want to show music on mm. your podcast, you can't do that. Right? We look... It, yeah, you, you can't. Well, But you can... There's all these loopholes, though. Like, you can play the chorus and stuff it's like they're random bullshit well, so when you watch the other podcasts like the big ones they do like they'll play the YouTube video you can hear the audio but like you can't, you can't see the full see it, video yeah. so they'll like they'll play the audio and they'll take the video off and just show you the important bits yeah yeah so yeah. They, like edit so it's like you can I think you show like sections of a video or something it's all too complicated yeah, it it's all weird. too complicated let's just live our lives and let, die let us share your content yeah, just give us your content, bro. <laughs> you create it. You Yo, be the creative Ant's. guy and I'll put it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, and make all yeah, the money just for it. send us some really visually <laughs> striking material that I'm we can put checking. online and make money from. Well, survival episode went a little off off uh, track. What are we surviving next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, it's still the survival episode, guys. Don't get that twisted. Oh, this drink up's crunchy. That's right. Oh, God. Fresh. I read that. Uh oh. <laughs> um. So, Ant. We wrapping up, bro. I think so. It's a wrap. So you had your you had your weekly. Dose Look, guys, you know how to survive shark attacks, bear attacks, nuclear attacks. Now we just Th- gave you three key survivals. We did. We saved your life. In conclusion, shark punch to the face, grizzly bear play dead, and take your clothes off. I love that your advice for a nuclear war is go and have a shower. <laughs> And have a shower. <laughs> no, no. We shower said, off. We said atta- uh, missile attack underground. Underground. That underground, guys. That was a good little uh, Thanks, legitimate yeah. advice. Though. Cheers. I like Cheers. That. But take some provisions and some and a blanket. I'm going to train. He's going to train, people. Gonna train. He's going to train. Fuck this three-week death illness that I've been blessed with. Yeah, you really have been carrying it. Ugh. Last should night we, I was thinking, am I dying? Maybe I'm just dying. <laughs> it might be the case. You know? I it's like, know. what's going to happen if I just die? I mean, it's possible. You know what else was weird? What? I, for some reason, haven't had anxiety basically at all lately, and I kind of miss it. Yeah, you're addicted to to depression and anxiety. Some woman said to me, well, not depression, some uh, woman said to me once, I uh, see, she was like, I said, oh, some days I just feel down. Like, I just feel like, oh, like, can't be asked kind of thing. She's like, when she goes, it's really common with people who are like really like have high levels of anxiety that the days they don't have it then start to feel like you're down. Mm. I was like, oh, and that made me feel better. So when mm. I was having a day where I didn't have it, I was like, oh, this is a good day. So it turned that around. 
now my life is much more like even scale. Like, mm. I, I don't get it how I used to mm. now, which is weird. Well, you just get like it made me de- me. It was de- my thing. You're getting desensitized to it. I need a thing. But it's like it's like you smoke weed every day all day. Eventually, you don't get quite as high. Yeah. yeah. God, anxiety, come back to me. <laughs> you got to take a couple weeks off it. What have I done? Get the anxiety back. <laughs> what have I done? Lower your tolerance. But how can I take it off it? I'm off it now. I need it back. You go, you, you go on holiday. We need to put me in a high You go on holiday, system. drink and do powders all day for like a week and a half. Then you come back, you're anxiety central. I don't do enough class A drugs. You don't? That's my issue. It is. That's your problem. In fact, I don't think I've ever tried class A drugs. Mm, mm. Right. See you later, guys. I'm going to go do a line. <laughs> I'm going to go powder the old nose. Mike stinks. <laughs> it's right in my face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to shove it's the mic right up your ass. It's right here. I thought you were going to shove the mic up your ass. I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> oh, oh, man. It's like all the poop particles have attached to the fob bit. Right. We're gonna have to call it. <laughs> We're gonna have to call it there, guys. Because I can't keep this. Can't keep this mic in my face much longer. <laughs> That's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, guys. <laughs> um, we're gonna sing you out. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Smelly mic. <laughs> Does your mic sting like shit? Oh, proper. Man. It's like it's not good. It's not good. Oh, stop. All right, and. Um, enjoy that just be glad you can't smell it I want to re-listen to that man yeah we're going to have to reload on that oh that's not getting edited out that's going right in oh, of course right in oh right in we used to edit everything it? no not really the first few yeah like minimal editing we'd go through the whole thing yeah we'd sit there and listen to the whole thing yeah. mm-hmm. but we'd rarely get rid of much just like those bits where it went silent. I'll tell you this when we start. I got something else to tell you. All right, yeah. Cut us off, man. All right, guys. Goodbye, 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 goodbye and go fuck your mothers.